Hi, Royal Ones. This is Miss Gigi. I'm coming at you again with um, another message. Listen, I um, I want to talk to you tonight about um, about suicide. When my second marriage ended, I I felt like I wanted to kill myself. I just felt like it was too much pain. It was too much turmoil. Um, back in 2015, that was just the worst time of my life. And it was just, my marriage was falling apart even before then. And so I had, you know, these thoughts a couple of times. And um, I couldn't understand. I was doing everything I could do as a good wife and a mother. And my husband was just a terrible man. And I, I couldn't understand why he was abusive, uh, you know, violent, drunk. And um, I... I gave him everything, clothes, shoes, food, anything he wanted. I bought it for him. He he said he needed some more time to try to get himself together, to try to find a job. And so, you know, for two years, I believed him. You know, I, I let him use me and, you know, abuse me when I realized I was trying to, when I had enough and I tried to get away, he wouldn't let me. So, you know, I had to, I had to leave him right there in the middle of whatever it is he was going through. Because clearly I wasn't the one that, that he was needing. He needed something else. I don't know what it was, but I'll never find out. I'll never know. But um, I know how it feels to be in pain, to sit in turmoil and deal with issues that keep coming up. You know, no matter how nice you are or how hard you try to handle that situation, they just keep getting worse. You, know, you can't love someone past their pain if they don't let you love them or they don't receive your love so therefore you just want to give up and get out of your body and be done with yourself another time I felt this way is um, when my father passed away you know I, I thought about it um, when he when he died I was I was so so very hurt I was a daddy's girl he was the only somebody that gave a damn about me on this earth that loved me and um then I got into a car accident in 2007. I couldn't do for myself and the bills kept piling up and I fell into depression. And then in 2008, I lost my job. You know, what was I going to do with a young son and no rent and no car and all the bills piling up? And, you know, I, I fell down on my knees and I prayed to God and I did file for unemployment for two years, but I'm not that type of chick. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm, that's not my personality. I like to work. I like consistent income. But I, you know, so I opened up my business in August of 2010. And that's why I've been at for the past 12 years. And God showed me my gift. And I, I cried out to him for help. And he delivered me. And, you know, now I am so happy. I am so free. He's brought me to a better place. I'm stronger, faster, and better because of what I've gone through. You know, I've got my will to live back. I, um... I'm a blogger now. I'm a YouTube creator. I've I've overcome. Like, if I would have killed myself in that time, if I would have just been successful at suicide, I would have never been on the other side of this. I feel so happy, so liberated. I'm loving my peace. You know, even though it's been eight years since my second marriage fell apart, but I'm loving my peace. I'm happy. I'm stronger. I'm healthier. Um, I did seek therapy, but. It doesn't mean I was crazy. You know, shit got hard. I needed someone to help sort out my problems. Someone who was on the outside looking in to see what I was missing. Someone to see into me, you know. So um, I published my book since then. My first my first book of poetry. I'm working on my second book. You know, my son, he's, he's taller now. He's, you know, he's 17. He's almost a man. You know, I've seen so many milestones in my son's life, so many birthdays since he's had, since 2016, me and my son, we went to Disney World for the first time. I mean, gosh, so many wonderful things, you know. Um, so if you, if you feel like committing suicide, just look at your children and think about how leaving them behind would hurt them because he never got to know you as a parent better. You know, your family would be so devastated because, you know, by losing you. Yes, life gets hard and, and divorces does happen and, and, and men, abusive men, they do come into our lives, but we just got to, you know, shit does happen. 
but taking your life is not the answer. God, God is the answer. Reaching out to God, you know, spiritual, spiritual connection is the answer. He's, he's my everything. The Lord saved me. I promise you, if you pray, God will see you through. He did it for me. I know he'll do it for you. Um, everything that's going on now with the economy and stuff like that, you know, it's a lot of things that will make you want to think like that. But, you know, just talk to someone and, and about what you're feeling and about what you're thinking on the inside. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you crazy. It makes you smart because you want to talk to somebody about it. You don't necessarily need medication to help you during your time of frustration and confusion. You just probably need talk therapy, you know, or you need a group therapy. You know, they have group sessions where you can talk to a group of people who understand you, what you're going through without judgment. You need a judgment-free zone, you know, and for six months, you, you know, have this therapy sessions for six months and you'll be back to yourself again. You know, maybe you need therapy up to two years. You know, it's fine. No judgment. You know, um, you need you need prayer. You need prayer. You need God to, to help see you through. Um, suicidal thoughts are serious, but it'll pass with the right people around you and with the right help. You know, you feeling scared and alone. You feel like there's no way out. You're feeling confused and misunderstood. Um, you helpless and abused. I, I've, I've been abused. I've been there. You feel like you're worthless. You know, you don't have no energy. You're tired. You're exhausted. You're doing everything alone by yourself. You know, everybody taking you for granted. You know, um, you don't, you're tired. You're exhausted. Therapy works. Um, just reach out, reach out for help. Just comment in the comment section, reach out in the comment section. Let's, let's talk about it. Royal ones. Don't hold it all in and don't commit suicide. Everything you want to do, the life you want to live is on the other side of what you're feeling right now. So, um, please let's talk about it to get therapy, call therapy and, um, and, and you'll be better. So this year is the best year that the Lord is going to open doors for you and make ways for you. But how would you know if you do, if you commit suicide? So don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, and kisses. Bye.